गाइज थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर विजिट टू आवर फैमिली वी नीड योर सपोर्ट इन लव प्लीज प्रेस सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड बेल आइकन इट्स टोटली फ्री गुड लक फॉर योर सेंस नाउ इंजॉय You guys, if you are puzzled with uh, you know too much work, with financial burden, with your relationship and other things, I hope you are uh, at right place. And because Wordsworth was writing about this thing in this poem, the world is too much without us. Late and soon. Let's see what do I have for you in uh, in this analysis, and we will relate this poem to our life. I'm a happy person, so I don't think world is too much with me. But um, let's see what what was he saying? Uh, actually, it's been uh, three days. I uh, I'm down with fever, but <clears throat> still I thought if I'm just on my bed, let's discuss this thing. Uh, William Wordsworth, we know it was seventeen seventy when he was born, and uh, his great friend Samuel Tyler Coleridge, he, they invented a new style of poetry in their poetry collection, Lyrical Ballads, seventeen ninety eight. It was a starting point of Romantic era. Whenever we talk about Wordsworth, we say we relate it to Romantic era. Lived in England's scenic Lake, lake District instead of urban London. And this scenery, as you can see here, see, see, look at this one. I have the same scenery outside of my uh, home, and I really love mountains too, like Wordsworth. But I'm not a poet, like Wordsworth, a great poet. Like I'm a small poet. I write poetry, but in you can say Gadwali dialect, and in Hindi also. You can check out my poetry also in Hindi. Let's see background of the poets. Uh, Wordsworth as a poet, poetic composition. The the best thing to remember about um, this guy Wordsworth is argues that he argues that poetry should be written in natural language of common speech. So this was okay. <clears throat> Poem should offer access to the emotions contained in a man. He wrote without metrical structures. He he was. Uh, uh, not giving value to metrical structures here is a question simple question that are we addicted to technology and material things how long could you go without your phone that's a tough question we need our phone every time write down in comment box how long could you go without your phone <clears throat> background of the poem this is very important when we try to understand a poem uh, actually in this poem they were uh, the person Wordsworth was sitting uh, somewhere with his friend and he was looking outside at the public and uh, he was analyzing the the work done by those people how much they are suffering because of their needs because of uh, their work and because of their mentality to work okay so let's see probably written in 1802 and published in 1807 written about humanity's inability to feel nature's beauty he he wanted uh, everyone to come to the come to the hills the lake districts and such such places a petrarchan sonnet he used written in iambic pentameter has five sets of stressed and unstressed syllable pentam means five and rhyming scheme is a b b uh, a b b a a b b a and c d c d c d so this is a uh, rhyming scheme of the poem let's talk about the poem information on the poem themes and main idea angrily states he is quite angry uh, with the situations with people that they are just ignoring nature he angrily states that human beings are so preoccupied with material things and have lost touch with nature what is uh, what we can say to about tone it is angry it is annoyed he wants people to appreciate the beauty of nature instead of focusing on material things and this is really really uh, i support words words for this uh, whenever if i am with some, my laptop my gadgets i don't feel that much pleasure but if i go in woods i uh, i enjoy a lot there so if you go there you can enjoy elements of poetry metaphor simile alliteration imagery and end rhymes he has used 
This is the poem. The world is too much with us. Late and soon, getting and spending, we live with our powers. Little we see in nature that is ours. We have given our hearts away, a sordid boon. The sea that bears her bosom to the moon. The winds that will be howling at our all hours and are upgathered now like sleeping flowers. For this, for everything, we are out of tune. It moved us not, great God. I'd rather be a peasant skilled in a creed outworn. So might I, standing on the pleasant lee, have glimpses that would make me less forlorn, have sight of Proteus rising from the sea, and hear old Triton blow his withered horn. So here, here is uh, <clears throat> a summary that the author believes that we are too addicted to the consumerism and power and we have given our hearts away a sordid moon. What does he mean by this? We no longer see the beauty of nature. It has become worthless to us. And the sea and these are the things. Let's see. Summary uh, is here. Wordsworth continues to criticize men's men for distance from nature. The sea and wind are representative of nature. The author says that we are out of tune because we are separated from nature and it moves or not. Great God, I'd rather be. And this, this is the line of poem uh, we have already read. He would rather be a pagan, uh, pagan than be separated from nature. And... Uh, he is standing on an open grassland and he is pondering over things. Here he says he might see Proteus coming out of the ocean or Triton blowing his horn. Why is this romantic poem? Now here is a question for you. Why this is a romantic question? You know romantic means free from things, uh, free from foundations. It talks about nature. It was written during uh, during the Romantic period, which was from 1790 to 1824, some people say, and some uh, say 1798. So if you get a question, what is uh, the starting point of Romantic era, you will say 1798, all right? It talks about nature. It resembles some of our modern day problems with the environment. real world connection so see see here you, you can you see two pictures here one is here second is here and um, you you can see if there would be words words his pen would write down some sentences for this this description so there is so much technology and buildings like shopping malls that people tend to focus more on buying material things and texting on their cell phones than watching and appreciating nature most people are also more worried about social networking than the things like deforestation and urbanization. So as you can see, we guys, what we do on uh, our WhatsApp, we can we celebrate uh, this day, that day, but we don't come out and uh, plant a tree. That can help us a lot in future. But no, we can share the things because we are in modern day and uh, modern day people don't plant trees. They only cut trees. Okay, we don't uh, take responsibility to plant trees but we take responsibility to remove them <laughs> okay just kidding so if you are a good guy like me you can i have planted nearly 50 trees and it really helped my surrounding and i feel happy when i plant a tree and he, you should plant a tree too okay because you are taking your oxygen from trees and this is your part you are taking and you are um, Okay, now my brother is calling me. So, let me tell you that I will be talking to you later. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Take care. See you in next video. Guys, thank you so much for your visit to our family. We need your support and love. Please press subscribe button and bell icon. It's totally free. Good luck for your exams. Now in case. Guys, thank you so much for your visit to our family. We need your support and love. Please press subscribe button and bell icon. It's totally free. Good luck for your exams. Now in case.